Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Chelsea Bayarte. The astronauts in orbit had a busy week conducting science experiments inside the International Space Station, but also released some small satellites called CubeSats outside of the space station so they can begin collecting data in low Earth orbit. The five satellites deployed all hitched a ride to space during SpaceX's 25th cargo resupply launch back in July. The researchers behind the satellites come from all different backgrounds. Seventh graders, MIT students, and even NASA centers had their experiments released from the space station this week. One of the five CubeSats is called Beaver Cube, and it's designed to take pictures of Earth's oceans and collect data on temperature so we can understand more about Earth's climate and its weather systems. NASA announced some launch updates for astronauts and spaceflight participants going to space in the next year. Following the successful uncrewed Orbital Flight Test 2 mission, NASA and Boeing are now looking at February 2023 to launch NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams aboard the Boeing Starliner. Their journey to the space station and back is called the Crew Flight Test Mission and is expected to last eight days. In another launch update last week, NASA and Axiom Space have agreed that the second private astronaut mission to the space station will take place in the second quarter of 2023. Axiom Mission 2 is expected to last around 10 days. And that's Space to Ground. Thanks so much for watching. We invite you to keep up to date on the latest news about the International Space Station on Twitter, at space underscore station. And for the latest news about research and science on the orbiting laboratory, head to at ISS underscore research. And as always, keep sending us your questions using hashtag AskNASA. We'll see you next week. Subscribe for more space. space, space.